Hello everyone, I am going to start a new course on S1 Plus. Uh, this course is basically designed for the beginners, for the people who have never used S1 Plus before. However, uh, if you have experience with S1 Plus, even if you are a beginner, you are an intermediate user, or even if you are an expert in S1 Plus, you can st still find this course beneficial because we will quickly move from the basics to the advanced uh, features of the S1 Plus. So you will not only be learning the uh, basic of S1 Plus, but you will also master how to uh, how to simulate a complete and complex chemical process inside the S1 Plus. So if you watch all of the videos and uh, if you do simulation in your in your own computers while watching the video tutorials, you will be able to pass the S1 Plus certified user exam and you will become an S1 Plus certified user. Uh, so I will also tell you the method how to, to register for that exam and how to prepare for uh, that exam at the end of this course. Normally they charge one, $150 as per this day uh, for the registration. However, they provide some promo codes and if you use those promo codes, you can register for uh, free. So I will guide you how to uh, register for this S plus certified uh, user examination by the end of this course uh, these are the contents of this course and uh, these contents are actually designed based on the requirement of this uh, s1 plus certified user exam so if you follow all the video tutorials and you if you simulate all these tutorials while watching the videos you will be able to pass this examination so it has actually covered all of the content uh, all of the contents of uh, this this exam so here we have 13 tutorials and uh, some bonus tutorials as well so uh, in the first tutorial which we are going today uh, is getting started with, with s plus you will know how to open s plus and uh, what are the steps involved in uh, process simulation using s plus and uh, in the second tutorial we will do physical properties modeling how to estimate the properties of different chemicals and then we will move towards uh, the problem solving techniques and uh, we shall use this sensitivity analysis and design spec which are some uh, powerful features of the S1 plus then we shall simulate the heat exchangers then the distillation models equilibrium based distillation models in, uh, in uh, tutorial 6 you shall learn how to use the utilities inside S1 plus and how to do the process optimization in tutorial 7, we shall simulate the chemical reactors and uh, in 8, the rate based distillation column. In tutorial 9, you shall learn how to use custom models and external control by custom models. Uh, custom models means that uh, there may be, let's suppose you are uh, simulating, you want to simulate membrane separation process. However, membrane is not available inside the S1 Plus. So, you can actually model, you can actually uh, model model annual reflection which is not available in s plus if you if you have the required equations so then uh, we enter tool to attend we shall do the capital cost estimation so uh, here we shall use another package of s plus which is called uh, s1 capital cost estimator and uh, then in tutorial 11 we shall do the heat integration and we shall design the optimal heat exchange networks uh, in 12, you shall learn uh, how to model electrolyte, electrolyte chemistry and uh, solvent based C2 capture. In, in tutorial 13, you shall learn how to simulate liquid liquid extraction process inside the uh, S1 Plus. And there are also some bonus tutorials. Uh, you shall learn how to do simulation of solid, simulation of process that involves solid in S1 Plus, how to simulate batch process in S1 Plus and uh, how to do safety, how to simulate uh, safety and energy aspects of chemical process in S1 plus and you will also be able to use the S1 plus dynamics which is used for the control system design and uh, in the last bonus tutorial you shall know how to select a property method uh, this is uh, this is something that you may not know at this stage however uh, we shall explore this later so these are the recommended books. Uh, the contents are actually taken from these books and most of the contents are taken from this book. 
this is uh, Laren S1 Plus in uh, 24 hours, uh, second edition by the Thomas A. Adams. Most of the tutorials are taken from this book, and uh, I have also used this another book, another good book. This is uh, uh, Kamal I M Al Malaha, and uh, this is uh, second edition S1 Plus Chemical Engineering Application. Some tutorials are taken from this, and this is another good book. Few tutorials are taken from this. This is uh, chemical process design and simulation uh, using S1 Plus and S1 High S1 High Seas. Uh, this is the Jumma Hajari is the author, and uh, this is another good book, uh, Stanley I Sandler, and uh, the book is using S1 Plus in thermodynamics instructions, step by step guide. Some tutorials are also taken from uh, this book. So this is the first tutorial. Uh, you shall know how to open S1 Plus, and uh, you shall also know that uh, how many steps are involved in the simulation uh, you are doing in S1 Plus. Uh, so you shall know how to open S1 Plus, and then how to convert a full sheet driving in, uh, drawing into a simulation. Find the missing piece of information. How to create new flow sheet. How to add chemicals. How to choose physical properties uh, parameters, uh, physical properties methods, how to insert the unit operation, connect the streams, how to enter the block specification, and how to run the simulation, and then how to extract the data from the uh, how to extract the results from the simulation. So in the search bar of the window, write S1 plus. Okay. and uh, I have S1 plus V14 however if you have an earlier version or a later version you can do this simulation in those versions as well because the changes the differences between those these versions are very advanced level so if you have version 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 or even a later version uh, so you can do this simulation in those versions as well so just click on S1 plus and uh, this window is open okay so now click on new and uh, here it is asking you that whether your process involves this uh, some polymers and you want to use English units so then you will select this okay and if you are uh, using uh, other chemicals with English units then you will select this if you have electrolytes and you, are, you want to use English units so these you will select this so. If you want to use metric units, so just click on metrics. So chemicals with metric units. Okay, these are the units. The units are displayed here. Uh, if your process involves some gas washing, just click on this gas and air separation with metric units. Okay. If you want to choose English units, you can choose this. Similarly, it has some other uh, uh, special packages. And uh, here I will just click on user, user specified um, template, and uh, I will select metric. So this is these are the this is general simulation with metric units. The, these are the units that it will use on temperature or temperature degree C or pressure bar, kilogram per hour for uh, mass product and so on. Now click on open selected template. So this is what you see when the S1 plus open. So, uh, if you click on the this setup from here, you can actually can give some uh, title to your uh, simulation. Call this distillation, and uh, here from here you can change actually the unit. Huh? So this is uh, metric unit in degree C bar. If you want to use some other units, you can change the units from uh, here. Okay, here you can see that. Uh, some are the green chicks, the blue chicks, sorry. So the blue chicks mean that the specification is completed. Some have the half felt uh, red circle, which means that uh, this needs your attention. You have to specify this. And some have this uh, blank circle uh, that are optional. Uh, you can specify this or you can give them blank. So here you can see that uh, this is, there is another half felt circle this, that needs your attention and you need to specify this. So, if I click again on this components or the specification, so here it is asking me that what are the components that 
are involved in your simulation so our components are in hexane and decan so click on this find button and here you can see we have three options one is begin with so if i select begin with and if i write something like if i like uh, write hydro so it will it will search all the uh, this will uh, actually search the uh, the, comp the, comp the the components name that begin from hydro you can see this here from here hydro 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 so and if you click on contain and then you search this so it will actually display all the names that have this hydro okay and if you click on equal so it will display and then find now this so it will display the exact name exact this name so if i click on find now you can see that there is no match because this is not the name of a component so as i know the exact name of my component so this is in hexane so i will select this equal however if you know part of the name did then just click on contain or you can also use this begin with option now click on find and we have only unique results huh? so this is a compound name the uh the formula and uh, some other parameters huh? the molecular weight and the boiling point case number and the class so select this and uh, click on add selected compounds you can see that the compound is added here this compound is added, added here you can rename this as a hexane okay. and uh, enter then rename and uh, the second component is decan so you can actually let me try it right uh, decan here decan and you can see that it has identified the decan no? however if i write this hydro here you can see that it has not identified it identified the components when you see the name in the formula here right so this is another shortcut uh, method how to uh, add the names uh, how to add the components huh? uh, okay this is the component id you can rename this this is the component type you can see that mostly we will use the conventional components however we will also work with solid and some other uh, types of components which i will explain later as we use it and this is the name of the compound component that is stored inside the s1 plus data bank this is the formula and this is the uh, case number so here is a question one for you before the molecular weight of in hexane contained in s1 plus database so you saw it somewhere huh? uh, when you when we click on the find button and uh, then we search the in hexane so the properties were listed there so i will ask this question uh, during the uh, during this uh, tutorial and uh, the answer of all these question are given in the description so uh, now report the molecular weight of in hexane contained in the s1 plus database uh, you can match the answer uh, so see the description now we have edit components so and you can see now this there is a green check here right so that means that this specification is now computed now it knows that how many uh, now it knows that uh, which components are involved in the uh, in this this process next it is asking us to provide the physical properties method this method click on the method and this is the a thermodynamic model which will be used for the estimation of the properties different properties you may have already um, here, of course you have already used the ideal gas equation pv is equal to nrt or you may have used the um, van der waal equation of state or the ping robinson equation of state or the sauret lecomte equation of state all these are the physical properties model which are used for the estimation of the thermal properties i am not going to detail at this moment we shall explore that later but here select the from this drop down menu select the psrk psrk predictive red lecomte sau red lecomte equation this equation will be used for the, uh, the estimation of the properties of those chemical which we have just selected and now you can see a green check here as well no? uh, so we have we are done with this properties okay here you can see the properties was selected by depart now click on this simulation so it will take us to the simulation environment this is where we are going to uh, build our flow sheet 
So you can see that there was a pump was involved in our process and a recession column was involved in our process. These are the unit operation. This is called the model pellet. This thing is called the model pellet. The model pellet contains the unit operation uh, which are available inside the S1 plus. So we have mixer, splitter, separator, exchanger and so on, columns, reactors. So first we are going to simulate the pump. So you know that pump must lie inside the pressure changer. So click on the pressure changer and now select this pump and click uh, somewhere in this uh, blank surface. Okay. And pump is installed. If I click somewhere else, then the inner pump is installed. So how to exit this mode? Just right click or click escape. Huh? Right click and you will exit this mode. So let me delete this. If you want to delete this, just uh, select this and click the delete button or you can delete this one by right click and then uh, okay uh, I think it should be available here however uh, if it is not available here you can just uh, you can just click on the delete button and uh, delete this one now I want to okay you can also increase the size so sorry You can increase the size. Okay, you can move it anywhere. Just uh, select it and uh, drag it somewhere else. And you can also rename it. Uh, right click on it and uh, uh, rename block. Huh? Rename block. So just call this pump. Okay. You can also double click on it to rename it. Huh? Now this pump has an input stream and an output stream. So these are the streams. Here we have three types of stream. Huh? four types of steam one is material steam one is heat steam one is work and one is power we shall explore these later at the moment we are installing a material stream so click on this stream material stream and you can see that the pumps is asking you to connect two streams at the red arrow so one at the inlet and one at the outlet so when i click here you can see that uh, the color changes so this is something like greenish color and uh, now click then uh, move to here and then click again and now you can see that uh, a stream is added here right uh, you can also okay similarly add a stream here click on this red arrow and uh, click and then <coughs> here okay uh, so you also have this uh, blue arrow never connect the stream with this blue arrow because this blue arrow is part of the water decant so um, we don't have any water decant so we you shall connect the streams to the red input and the red output